All right, Shalom Israel. Shalom. I want to start out by giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone and blessings to the elect. It's the Great Millstone Dallas camp. I'm Brother Yatazak and I got the Brother Tazama here with me. And uh, we've been going through Romans chapter 8, you know, uh, the whole chapter, you know. And of course, uh, this is part four. Uh, yep, part yeah, four. part four, you know, and we 11 verses in. You know, the reason why I'm saying that is because you have to study, you have to toil in these scriptures. You can't just read it, you know, like it's a uh, like it's a, a left behind series novel. You know, <laughs> this is not this is not one of those books that you read uh, uh, all the way through. I mean, you can read it like that, and it is actually a good book. But for understanding's sake, you have to go precept upon precept, line upon line. Matter of fact, get that Isaiah 28. God, God. Yeah, and this is what these wacky and tacky Christians don't understand. You know, uh, earlier we watched a video with these uh, 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 so-called Christians had ten questions for the Hebrew Israelites to answer, and they were corny as hell, man. It was it was easy work, you know. And uh, of course, of course, they stepped in a, a, a huge pile of doo doo. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you know all you know you know how we are. You know how we are through the spirit, man. Through the spirit and the power of your high Bashem, your shy, man. When you come up against this, when you come up against these scriptures, man, we're gonna show you how to do it. You know? And this is you have to go line upon line. You have to go precept upon precept. You have to look your words up, man. You have to study. You know, this ain't this ain't no light thing. And you can tell you the one thing about these Christians, man, they don't study, man. They don't read. They don't believe in the Bible. That's why when they hear the things that we say, everything we say come out of the Bible. So, all these different things that they're hearing, they never heard it before. And it sounds blasphemous to them. Because they're spiritually discerned. Exactly. You know? You got that in uh, Isaiah? Con, this is Isaiah chapter 28. Uh, I'm going to start at verse 9. It says, Whom shall he teach knowledge? Uh, go up to the uh, go up a little bit. Wean from the breast. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's verse 9. Okay, con, con, con. Uh, Isaiah 28 and 9, it says, Whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Whom shall he make to understand doctrine? It's obvious people don't understand. Right. It's plain. It's plain to see that people don't understand. You know? Go ahead. Kind. It says, them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. Weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. You know what I'm saying? Coming into this knowledge, you get the milk scriptures. Who the Israelites are. You know, the color of the Lord. You know, uh, uh, who the Lord came for. Right. Things that are easily understood with proper understanding. Right. You know? And then as you grow, you get seasoned in this thing, you get bigger and bigger. And then you wean from the you wean from the milk. You know? Mm -hmm. When you born you only eat, you only living off milk for a while. Then once you come of age and you can chew and you know, because you grow. Right, you know, you, you you're able to you're able to uh you know, eat strong meat. You know, as the scripture tells you, I believe it's the Second Corinthians, the thirteenth chapter. Yep. Once you get to a certain age, you can eat strong meat. But mm -hmm. until then, you on the milk. Yep. And these people can't even get past milk. Why? Because they haven't truly been born again. Right. You know, you got to be born again in this thing. Go ahead. Kind. It says, verse ten. It says, for precept must be upon precept. Precept upon precept. Precept upon precept. Line upon line line upon line here a little and there a little that's what i'm saying man this is how you read the bible you know this is how you read the bible prayer goes along with it fasting goes along with it you know denying yourself learning what these scriptures are actually talking about christians don't do that they don't do that man that's what i'm saying they're gonna throw jesus in your face and tell you you can't judge them yep but that's what i'm saying that's that don't that's not the understanding that the scriptures give kind and even when in uh Ah, Salakia. I lost my train of thought. Uh, okay, that's I lost my train of thought. We can go back to the verse. Uh, Khan. Uh, it's probably gonna come back. But uh, I'm gonna jump down to verse 13 because this is actually, this is actually going into these Christians. You know, you can think about it this way. Verse 13. It says, "But the word of Yahweh was unto them precept upon precept, mm -hmm. precept upon precept. Yep. Line upon line, mm -hmm. line upon line. Here a little and there a little. Uh, it says that they might go." And fall backward and be broken and snared and taken. Yeah, that was like they don't they not gonna get it. They not gonna get it. Man, it's like they going through all they going through precepts, 
you know, it's like these scoffers and scorners, you know what I'm saying? They go through the precepts and different precepts, line upon line, line upon line, yeah, asking you, 10 you questions. Got niggas, you got niggas talking about America is the Vatican. <sighs> Complete madness, man. But what did it say at the end of the verse? It says that they might fall backward, be broken, and snared, and taken. Yep. Revelations 11 chapter talks about how uh, let their table be made a snare. That's right, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's talking about. You Go know? Ahead. Uh, that was it on that. All right. I'm going to jump back real quick to... Uh, I'm going to jump back real quick to Romans 8. Uh, this is Romans chapter 8. I'm going to start at verse 11. It says, But if the spirit of him that raised up Yahweh Shah from the dead dwell in you... Yes, the spirit of Yahweh, the heavenly father, go ahead, who the world ignorantly calls God... He that raised up Yahweh Shah from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. Now, for you Christians that's talking about the Most High and Yahweh Shah is the same person, read that again, bro. Kind. But if the, this is Romans chapter 8, verse 11. But if the spirit of him that raised up Yahweh Shah from the dead dwell in you. I was like, you're talking about you got 10 questions for the Israelites. I got a million questions for you Christians. Yeah. <laughs> Read that again, bro. So like, <laughs> Romans chapter 8, verse 11. But if the spirit of him that raised up Yahweh Shah from the dead. If the spirit in of Yahweh dwell in you, he raised Yahweh Shah from the dead. Right. Yahweh Shah didn't raise himself from the dead. Yahweh did not come down to earth and die. He did not get pierced by the Romans. He sent his son to do that for the nation of Israel, the elect of the nation of Israel, and trickling on down to the rest of the nation. That's what happened. Yep. He's the power of life. You know what I'm saying? It says, He that raised he that raised up Yahweh Shai from the dead. Two different entities. Yep. Shall also quicken your mortal bodies. By his spirit that dwelleth in you. That's what I'm saying. It's going to wake you up out of all that madness because he's going to dwell in this body so that we can uh, 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 fulfill his will. Yep. Go ahead. Verse 12. Therefore, brethren. Oh, I got one. Get one. Get up. Uh, uh, 1 Corinthians 6 and 19 real quick. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 19. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The Lord could do what he want with these bodies, man. They say that the oh, Lord yeah. did. The, they say that the Lord chose us. We didn't choose the Lord. You know what I'm saying? So if the Lord chooses you to do a job, as pursuant to the scriptures is all the prophets, yep. whether they wanted to or not, the Lord chose them. They did his will. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. This is First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19. It says, what? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Go up a verse. Con. Um, you talking about being bought for a price? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. verse 20. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I'm going to start at verse 19. It says, uh, what? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, uh -huh. which is in you. That's what I'm saying. And the Most High chose it. Yep. The Most High chose this body. He told Jeremiah, for you was uh, created in the womb, I knew thee. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So if the Lord got a plan for you, you're going to fulfill that plan, whether you righteous or a scoffer. You know? Go ahead. It says uh, that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, which is in you, which ye have of the Most High, and ye are not your own. That's what I'm saying. We don't belong to ourselves, man. The Lord, I would say, that price that we was bought with was the blood of Yahweh Shai, man, when he died on that cross, man. That's right. When he gave up the ghost on that cross, mm -hmm. you know? We got to acknowledge that. Y'all got to acknowledge that, man. Yep. Go ahead. Because the scripture says in Romans, the sixth chapter, that it, it says that he, uh, for if someone, roughly paraphrasing, if you're dead, then you're free from the law. You know what I'm saying? You're not obligated to the law anymore if you're dead. Right. You know? So that, that's that's us spiritually. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're, we're dead to the law because we're under grace so if we're under grace and we're not under the law we have to live a certain way that's right because as the scripture is going to read here in verse 20 i'm just going to read it for ye are bought with a price mm -hmm. that price i'm like saying the lord the lord shed his blood he was the ultimate sacrifice he was the last sacrifice because they also asked us yeah they also asked us why don't we sacrifice animals no more he was but, we, but, we, but we but we keep the old law the 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 uh the the Lord dying on that cross, the Lord dying on that cross, he was that perfect unblemished lamb. That was the last sacrifice. But according to the laws, according to the law, statutes, and commandments, he said he came to fulfill those, man. Yep. And even too, what happened? What 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 did Yahweh say in, in Jeremiah the 15th chapter? He cast us away as a people. And even with that, he even said what in Amos the fifth chapter, Isaiah the first chapter, he said he was done with our sacrifices anyway. Yep. He wasn't accepting our sacrifices no more. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So even if, 
even if we were to still be sacrificing, which we're not going to, but even if we were, the Heavenly Father already he said in the Old yep. Testament he ain't dealing with he it. He wouldn't accept them. <laughs> he's not going to accept them. He said he's he he not going to accept them. Question answered. Next. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Verse 20. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 6 to 20. It says, Bunch of sirens, sap suckers. Man. Bunch of suckers, man. <laughs> Dusted and disgusted. Yeah, I'm going to start calling y'all critches, man. <laughs> Critch. Yeah, sons of critches. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Uh, 1 Corinthians 6 and 20 For ye are bought with the price mm -hmm. Therefore glorify the most high in your body Glorify the most high in your body By making yourself a living sacrifice Going out on the highways and the byways yep. You know what I'm saying Making yourself a living sacrifice in your daily life man yep. Turning the other cheek You know Being brotherly Being circumspect Mortifying your members Mortifying your members The whole bit Yep. Read on It says uh, Therefore glorify Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in your body and and in your spirit, mm -hmm. which are the most high. And in your spirit, man. For the one, for the one who can kill your body and your soul. Mm -hmm. They just said it. Yep. Read it again. This is First Corinthians six and twenty. For ye are bought with the price. Therefore, glorify the most high in your body, and in your spirit, which are the most highs. Come, let's roll. Come. Jumping back to Romans chapter eight, verse twelve. It says, "Therefore, brethren, we are debtors." Not to the flesh to live after the flesh. It says, For if ye it says, For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. If ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. And you Christians live after the flesh, man. Yep. You you Christians are hella living after the flesh, man. That's why can't nobody judge you. You know? But I love Jesus. No matter what kind of wickedness you're doing. As long as you love Jesus, it's okay. Not according to the scriptures, it's not. Right. Read on. It says, uh, for if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. If you live after the flesh, ye shall die. So when a man of the Lord tell you that you're going to die, if you don't stop what you're doing, that's not for you to get offended. Well, if you do, you do. But that's for you to get right. That's love. That's to, that's to let you know, hey, man, the Lord ain't dealing with that. Yeah. yeah well, I say according to the scriptures, the Lord will kill you for doing that, man. No, you can't do that. But then you get a mouthful. Yep. You get a mouthful in response. Yep. You're supposed to, you're supposed to tell... Matter of fact, Baba Kishar, I'm going to get a real quick precept on that. Yeah, you read Leviticus chapter 20, verse 13 to a uh, group of homosexuals. Instead of them stopping doing what they're doing, they're going to start tongue kissing in front of you. Mm -hmm. You know? Proud. Uh, Go ahead. This is Psalm chapter 32, verse 8. It says, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the in the way which thou shalt go. I will instruct you and teach you in the way that you shall go, man. The law, statutes, and commandments. Yep. I will guide thee with mine eye. Mm -hmm. That's it on that. Oh, okay. but that's that's King David. You know what I'm saying? He said, "Look, he was he was talking to, to us, man. He's like, look, I will instruct you. I will instruct thee and teach thee on the way that thou shalt go. Which is how how do you do that? You do that by the word, man. Mm -hmm. By going according to what's written, according to the precepts, the laws, statutes, and commandments of what the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushua commanded the nation of Israel, man. What he said, "I will lead thee with mine eye." What did mm -hmm. he say? He said, "I will guide thee with mine eye." Yeah, man. What the uh, what the Lord said, let your eye be single. Yep. Focused on this truth, man. Focused on the, the Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. Yeah. You focus on Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. You get those gifts. You get those secrets. You know what I'm saying? You get that. You get the the the, the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, so you can maneuver through this society, man. Mm -hmm. That word "guide" in the Hebrew is Strong's H thirty two eighty nine, which is a uh, Yaitaza, uh, which is uh, to advise, mm. consult, give counsel, uh, purpose. Watch over your soul, pretty much. Yep. Like an elder should. To be a counselor. Mm -hmm. To conspire. You know what I'm saying? Seek counsel before you do anything, man. You go ask the elders. You go ask the brothers. You know? Mm -hmm. These Christians ain't getting counsel and going into the scriptures and. Nah, man. Nah. They ain't doing what the scriptures say to do. They going to Sunday school in the morning time, eating sausage biscuits and yeah. committing all kinds of adultery. And you got homosexuals on a, playing the drums in the background. You know what I'm saying? All, all kinds of confusion and madness going on in, in the so-called Christian church. You know what I'm saying? They're not. They're not. Uh, live, they're living after the flesh, and they're not living after the spirit. Right. They live. They live according to the flesh, man. That's right. Which is completely contrary to what Yahweh Bashim Yahushua said. Which is enmity with the Most High, as we read earlier in the chapter. Yep. Because if you, know? you, if you go up to verse six, it says, "For to be carnally minded is death." And that's what they are. Yep. That's what they are. That's right. And was and it's a difference between dying in in, uh, uh, in the truth 
and dying outside the truth. You know, you got to make a distinction between that, man. So you telling me all since all the prophets died, they was all wicked. Right. Men of the Lord die. Everybody dies. We in the flesh. Yahweh shot conquered death. He was the only one to conquer death. Everybody else got to get it. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But Lord willing, us on this go around, you know, some of us on this side, Lord willing, we are those men. Yep. You know, some of us aren't going to taste death on this side, man, because we're going to be resurrected in the same glory like Yahweh was resurrected in being joint heirs. More prophecy. You know? That's prophecy. You know? Yep. Go ahead. Uh, verse 13, it says, For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye, but if ye through the spirit do mortify, <clears throat> so like you do mortify the deeds of the body. I said, through the spirit, through the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of this book. The knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Go back. Read right. it again. Verse 13, it says, For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, mm -hmm. ye shall live. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you if you get the understanding of these scriptures and know what's pleasing to the Heavenly Father and what's not, you can live your life according to that. Yep. You know, instead of somebody just telling you you can do whatever you want to and leaving you for destruction, man. Mm -hmm. Christianity leaves you for destruction, man. Ain't no salvation in Christianity. Nope. Go ahead. Come on, because it tells you, man, Paul, Apostle Paul... He's telling us, he's telling us how we need to live and what we need to do in order to be uh, received in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is righteous, man. You know what I'm saying? It says that if ye through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. Uh -huh. and, it tell, and he told us in Galatians 5 and 22 what the, what the fruits of the spirit are. You know, joy, peace, charity, you know what I'm saying? Gentleness, meekness, you know, but you have to mortify that old man. And mortify means it means to put to death, to mm -hmm. render extinct. Yep. Your old man has to be gone in this truth. That's the right. old ways that you had, the old ways that you had while you was in the world, that's not acceptable to the Heavenly Father, man, and the Son. God. It's not acceptable. You know what I'm saying? It ain't acceptable just to be a complete nigga in the truth. Lord ain't dealing with that. You know? Uh, verse 14, it says, For as many as are led of the... Uh, uh, for as many as are led by the Spirit of the Most High, they are the sons of the Most High. I said the ones that are led by the Spirit of the Most High, man. The Spirit of the Most High offends the world. The Spirit of Yahweh Shai offends the world. So those men that are like-minded are going to offend the world too. Mm -hmm. Read it again. It says, for as many as are led by the Spirit of the Most High. For as many as are led by the Spirit of the Most High, 144,000 and a one-third. Yep. Everybody else can get it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Everybody else can get it. Take a big heap and help in whatever the Lord got dished up for you. Read on. They are the sons of the Most High. Mm -hmm. The sons of the Most High. The sons of God. Yasha Allah. Sound familiar? Yep. You know? The sons of God who later became the Israelites through the lineage yep. of Adam all the way up to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to King David, to King Solomon. So Yahweh shy. You know? Mm -hmm. Read on. Come on. Verse 15. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage against a fear, uh -huh. but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. Yeah, and that adoption was above uh, was the Lord dying on the cross to bring us back to the Heavenly Father, man. Mm -hmm. Two entities. Yahweh sent out the order, Yahweh shy fulfilled it. Therefore, we have hope, we have life, we have a chance, you know, to rule, you know, to be cleaned up, to be baptized spiritually. Okay. And this is a gift that we hold sacred. This is a gift that we hold dear. And we're not just going to let y'all, mm -mm, nah, man, we fully persuaded in our own mind while y'all still trying to figure it out. Yep. We got, I mean, hey, as, a, as the scripture says, as Yahweh Shah said, what in what? I believe it's John the fourth chapter. He says, "We know, we know who we worship." Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Worship, worship the heavenly Father in spirit and in truth, man. And that's and that's what we came to do, man. We're not we're not here to play around with y'all and, and BS around. And we got ten questions for Nah, man. Either you gonna get it, either you get it or you don't. And if and if you don't get it, man, you are gonna be slated to destruction. That's right. Your your table is gonna be made a snare unto you, man. You that open up, you, you guys that open up the scriptures and playing around with it and thinking that this is a game, man. You you see, 
man, you, you snare yourself to destruction. That's right. You know, and it's beautiful, man, because why? It's prophecy being fulfilled. Digging a hole and burying yourself. Yep. I have a quick precept. This is uh, Hebrews chapter 2, uh, verse 14. It says, For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, mm -hmm. he also himself took part of the, <coughs> of the same. Talking about Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. It says that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is the devil, and deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. Come on, man. I was saying, I was saying the Lord, the Lord conquered Satan. The Lord conquered Satan on that mountain, man. Mm -hmm. And was able to conquer death by conquering Satan, man. You know? He told Satan no. <laughs> he was like, nah, man. You act like I don't know the story. Yeah. You know? He said, like, you act like I ain't a part of the story, man. Nah, man. And he fought Satan with the scriptures, man. Yeah. He fought Satan with the scriptures, man. These so-called Christians ain't fighting Satan with the scriptures, man. Uh, they, 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 they have it. They have Satan in their habitation. You know. You know. Read on. Uh, that was it on that one. God. I think I have one more. I believe it's in Isaiah 52. So I give, give it one second. I had a precept going into going into that. How do you spell eunuch? Do you know? E U. Uh huh. N I C H. N I C H. Yeah. E U N I C H. Let's see. Isaiah fifty six. Okay, here it is. I had to look it up that way. But this is a precept going into uh, the verse that we just read. How we, we're going to be uh, brought back in by the adopt by the adoption. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, this is Isaiah chapter fifty six, verse four. I'm sorry, verse four. But the point is like in verse six. It says, "For thus saith Yahweh unto the eunuchs that keep my Sabbaths and choose the things that are pleasing that that please me mm -hmm. and take hold of my covenant." That's talking about a spiritual eunuch, right? You know what I'm saying? Because according to the law, if a man's privy member is is, is is something wrong with it, he can't enter into the congregation. So, right. I want to throw that out there. Go ahead. It says, even unto them will I give in mine house and within my walls a place, a place and a name better than of sons and of daughters. Mm -hmm. I will give them an everlasting name that shall not be cut off. That's what I'm talking about. Yasha Allah, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, the names that mean something in this earth, man. Yep. Verse 6. Also the sons of strangers, the sons of strain of, of the stranger, alright, that join themselves to Yahweh to serve him and to love the name of Yahweh, to be his servants, everyone that keepeth the, the Sabbath from polluting it, and taketh hold of my covenant, even them will I bring to my holy mountain. See, these this is this is what's pleasing to the Heavenly Father, man. Obedience, man. Yep. Christianity don't preach obedience at all, man. Not at all. They don't preach obedience. So the Lord ain't dealing with them. Yep, it He's telling you. You know what I'm saying? Yep. It's real specific. Go ahead. It says, even them will I bring to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Uh -huh. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices shall be accepted upon mine altar. For mine house shall be called a house of prayer for all people. Now... This is now they say now see it, it's, uh, it's saying all people and it, said, oh. and it said the son of the stranger right check this out verse eight the Lord Yahweh which gathereth the outcast of Israel mm -hmm. saying there you go yeah the outcast of Israel man <laughs> the outcast of Israel not nobody else yep it said the outcast of Israel you know what I'm saying if you want to get that word outcast come on, let's get it let's get it this is in the Hebrew all right so it says the outcast which that word in the Hebrew is a dacha, which says to push, thrust, chase, overflow, totter, soar, drive away or out. Where were we driven out away or out of? We were driven away and out of the land of Israel due to the curses because we wasn't obedient. Just like, we the, were, script, just like the curses said. Right. We were thrusted out of our land. Right. Thou shalt see it no more. It says, be outcast. Uh, be cast down to push. It, it said to be cast down. Where are we? Are we not? Were, were we not cast down as a people? Mm -hmm. Big time. Look at our people today. Look, look at the nation of Israel today. 
our people are outcast. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It yeah, says yep. to push violently, to be thrust down. To push violently, say 70 AD. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Babylonians. Come on, man. Greece. The Assyrians. Antiochus. Everybody had their foot up our asses, man. <laughs> Go ahead. It says to be thrust down. It says uh, to be casted down. Yeah. You know? So it says, I'm going to go back to the verse. It says, verse 8. The Lord Yahweh, which gathereth the outcasts of Israel, saith, yet will, I gather other, yet will I gather others unto him beside those that are gathered unto him. And who was those, and who who are the ones that says beside those that are gathered unto him? Those that are gathered unto him will be considered the what? The circumcision. The ones that knew that they were Israelites already. All right. Now the outcasts were the ones that didn't know they were Israelites, bringing the whole nation back into a whole as one. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, I'm going to go back to Romans. This is Romans chapter 8. And I'm going to read verse 15 again. It says, For ye have not received the spirit of bondage against a fear. Uh -huh. All right. Brought that down to Hebrews. But ye have received the spirit of adoption being brought back. Yep. Whereby we cry, Abba, Father. Uh huh. And even when it says, whereby we cry, Abba, Father, you, you when you think about it, that word Abba, not even a word, when you just when you just say father, it's more intimate. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's more of it's 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 more of an intimate feeling versus, you know, saying uh Mr. Mr. Smith. You know what I'm saying? God. God. You got a more intimate relationship where you could you say Abba, Father. You know, and you got a more you get you'll get a more quick response, you know what I'm saying? Uh huh. Uh, verse 16 it says I say, then, Abba, You know what I'm saying Abba is Hebrew Right You know what I'm saying That vibration That Hebrew vib uh, vibration man mm -hmm. You know You say Abba You say uh, Abba uh, uh, Over God You know what I'm saying Yeah it, it, It's a stronger vibration That means you know him Yeah You know not to call him God You know he's more than that Yep You know he's the ultimate You know yeah, You show that reverence And that respect Or you say Abba Yahweh God You know Abba Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah yeah, you know, that's more. You know what I'm saying? That's more of a. You got. You get more of a. It's more of a respect. You know what I'm saying? God versus just God. I believe in God. What God? What, what God do you believe in? That's right. You know? Do you believe in, in Satan is a God? <laughs> you know? That's why I say hell. We guys. Do yeah. you believe in us? Hell no, nah, you don't. Exactly. You know? Verse 16. It says, "For the Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit." The Spirit, man. The Spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai bear witness with us because we understand because we get it you know scripture talking about our pure minds being stirred up and the first fruits and reincarnation and all these things and it matches yep. you know it makes hell of sense bro go ahead the spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high that's what i'm saying they say how can you prove that you are israelite with the scriptures there you go right there There's that was an another one that was another one of the dumbass questions yeah read it again Hebrew, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 16. The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Heavenly Father. All right, now get uh, Hebrews 11 and 1 real quick. Let's do it. Hebrews 11 and 1. Because faith plays a huge part in this too, man. You know what I'm saying? So you, so you, when you tell me to go get my records, I'm going to tell you you got to have faith in this thing, man. I believe I'm an Israelite. I believe what the Scriptures say. Just because you don't ain't finna change my mind. What, 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 uh, what uh, the devil Jay-Z say, what you eat don't make me shit. Yep. So if you don't believe what the scriptures say, if you, I, was, I don't give a damn if you don't believe I'm an Israelite or not. The scriptures talk about endless genealogies anyway. Come on. It say don't even worry about all that. Because yeah. it's about faith. And that's why Paul said that. Because the, the, uh, the records were taken. The oh. records were stolen. The records were burned or whatever happened to them. People forget that we were in captivity hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. They forget that history took place right. during these time frames. It wasn't like, you know, the Bible just came about, you know, we got we got the Ten Commandments. We were just, we got the Ten Commandments and the New Testament came about and all of a sudden we don't got to follow them no more. Yeah. That's what Christians think. We got the Ten, oh, we got, we got the Ten Commandments up. We got the New Testament now. Look up. The, the commandments are done away with. But I still follow the Ten Commandments. It's nothing but confusion, yeah. you know? Uh, Hebrews 11 and 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, uh -huh. the evidence of things not seen. The evidence of things not seen. I can't go back to get my records because your devil ass fucking burned them. Yeah. Shit. The white man, Esau. Yeah, in the midst of the rape, robbery, and murder. 
our identity was stolen, which was prophesied that we was gonna lose our heritage. That's what I'm saying, man. Get your asses up out of here, man. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. Go ahead. These so-called these so-called Jews, man. Y'all niggas don't got nothing to say about the the the, uh, the fake ass Jew in Israel today. Yeah. Nothing to say about him. This nigga owned everything. Yeah, nibbling on babies' penises, calling it circumcision, humping walls, drinking blood. You know, kosher eating kosher pigs, raping kids. All kinds of madness, but no questions for them. No questions at all. They getting, they getting, they getting trillions of dollars. Like they get billions and billions of dollars a month. The Pope, the Pope, stepped down because he was a homosexual. Come the on. Pope. The Pope. Fuck out of here, man. Go ahead. <laughs> you still in Romans? Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, uh, Hebrews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finish that up. All right. Hey, uh, Hebrews 11:01. It says, "Now the faith is, now faith is the substance of things hoped for." The evidence of things not seen. You know what I'm saying? And the evidence of things not seen. How do we make up for the uh, for the things that's not seen? By going into these prophecies. The Lord promised these things, man. Exactly. The Lord promised that he was going to wake us up out of this madness. He promised he was going to give us our heritage back. He promised all that. Yep. So, understand that through prophecy, who the Israelites are, it all matches up. It ain't got nothing to do with me that you don't believe it. Yep. That's how you know. That's how you know who the true sons of the living power are. Man. Exactly. That they're being raised up in the last days, as the prophecy said they would. Isaiah forty-four and one, going on down, the Ezekiel thirty-seven chapter when it talks about the valley of dry bones being risen back up. You're seeing it. Con. Isaiah the nineteenth chapter it talks about them altars being risen up in the midst of Egypt. What is that? That's right, brother. You know what I'm saying? What is that talking about? It's talking about the camps popping up all over the place, man. Breaking this word out, man. That hey. The spirit cried, Abba, Father. That's what that stuff that's what that is. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Verse 2. For by it the elders obtained a good report. Mm, for by it the elders obtained a good report, man. You know what I'm saying? By 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 preaching those things that they believe in sincerity and truth, man. Being pleasing to the Heavenly Father, man. Go ahead. Verse 3. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word. Okay, we can go back to Romans now. Okay. Yeah. Actually, I got a precept real Come. quick in Ephesians. Yeah, man. I was saying through faith our elders got a good report, man. Yeah, how about Shemiah was going to send his son, man? Yeah, how about you going to send his son back? Yeah, how going to send his son back? It's prophesied all through the scriptures, man. Yep. This is uh, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 12. That we should be to the praise of the, his glory. Who first trusted in Yahweh Shai? Uh -huh. It says, "In whom?" That's what I'm saying. Who um, in whom first trusted in Yahweh Shai? Who's first to trust in Yahweh Shai? The men that's in His truth, yep. that believe on Him, as the Scripture has said. Y'all still talk about Jesus? Yep, yep. We the first ones to believe in Yahweh Shai, man. We just got to do it to the end. Yep. You know, y'all don't believe in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Y'all believe in God and Jesus. God and Jesus let y'all get away with whatever. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah said, "You gotta be, you gotta come correct if you want to be delivered." Mm -hmm. Read because when you go up in that chapter, what is it talking about? It's talking about predestination. Con. It's talking about how the elect were predestinated uh, from the foundation. Oh of the man, I, I said we sure can't tell them we predestinated. Mm -hmm. Oh Lord, Yo, you know what I'm saying? World War Three was start early. Man. So they gonna bring the electric chair to your job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Verse thirteen. It says, "In whom ye also trusted." After that, ye heard the word of truth. Uh, whom ye trusted. We trust Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah because it is truth, man. Yep. You know? Yep. Read on. It says, in whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, mm -hmm. the gospel of your salvation. The gospel of our salvation, man, is in this book, man. Y'all already got y'all salvation. Y'all get to do whatever you want. Yep. This is your kingdom. You get to do whatever you want in this kingdom. And can't nobody judge you. That's how it's going to be for us. Exactly. We're going to be able to do whatever we want in the kingdom of heaven under the rulership of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. We're going to be able to do whatever we want. So y'all already got y'all con consolation, man. You know what I'm saying? You get to blow somebody's ride and go play the drums. Mm -hmm. Blow somebody's ride in church. You know what I'm saying? You get, to, I would say, you, a, a woman get to lick up on another woman and bring out her sermon. Read. It says, in whom also after that ye believe. Mm-hmm. Ye were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. That's what I'm saying. You were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, man. That promise to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? The knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of these scriptures is bringing us back into that promise, man. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. 
which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession uh -huh. unto the praise of his glory. That's what I'm saying. The purchased possession is the elect, man. Yep. The purchased possession. Purchased with that blood like we read, uh, the blood of Yahweh shot like we read in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 6. Right. That purchased possession. You know, I, uh, what is it? Uh, Revelation the 14th chapter start at the top. You know, being mm -hmm. being being uh, being presented as a as a chaz version to the uh, to Yahweh Shai. Yep. Being transformed, we have the earnest. It says the earnest of our inheritance, which is what this truth, man. This truth that we have through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is like a down payment. It's like a deposit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And then afterwards, then we're going to receive the inheritance. But this is a this is this is like. We have our spiritual bodies on layaway right now. Lord mm -hmm. willing, we those men. It's just like when the Lord walked the scene, man. Yeah. He, lived, he lived for 33 years, man. He lived for 33 years. Had a three-year ministry, man. And he did enough. He did enough in that 33 years, man, for the whole world to change completely, man. Yep. And this is the state that we come in, man. Because we're going to have to we're gonna have to go through the same thing that he went through because we're coming in his stead, man. Yep. The servant is not greater than the masters. We service. He the master. So we're going to have to catch our hell, too. You know, some of us gonna die, some of us gonna make it, but we all gonna be put together. You know, whether you uh, whether this body die before the Lord come back, you know, or the men that don't taste death, they all gonna be brought back together, man. Yep. And even for the ones that do so called die, man, at the end of the day, they raised up it's, first. It's victory. They gonna be raised up first because you died. You died like a man. You died manfully. Yep. Scriptures talk about dying manfully. You know. Ain't no Christian go die manfully. Not for the word's sake, they're not. They're not gonna, they're not gonna die manfully for the word's sake, man. They got you got people over here now. I would say Christianity don't even produce men. Yeah. They produce G Man and Vocab. Yeah. And Jesus is the word. And what's the, uh, the DJ nigga? Uh, uh, the beat maker. Uh, uh, Jay the producer. That clown. Yeah. You know? Jay the producer. They produce they they produce gay choir men. Yeah. And choir directors. They produce homosexual pastors. You know what I'm saying? Popping little kids. And it's all videos on the internet of pastors giving head. <laughs> that's ridiculous. That's what that's what church. That's what so the so-called Christian church uh, brings. You know, that's exactly what it brings. Uh, I'm gonna jump back to Romans chapter eight, verse uh, verse sixteen again. It says, "The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit uh -huh. that we are the children of the heavenly Father." Oh, so understanding is what makes us believe, man. Yep. Uh, understanding the scriptures is what makes us believe, and not understanding the scriptures is what make y'all not believe. It's just that simple. Yep. Go ahead. Verse seventeen. And if children, then heirs, uh -huh. heirs of the Most High. And joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. Going back to the first fruits, man. Going back to the first fruits. Joint heirs, man. Allah Hayim. Yep. John 1 and 1. Genesis 1 and 1. Figure it out. All you got to do is type in Great Millstone Breakdown, Genesis chapter 1, John chapter 1. You'll find what you're looking for. I don't know if you're going to like it or agree with it, but you'll find what you're looking for. It's called answers. Yep. And y'all don't have none. You never have none. That's what I'm saying. Y'all know where to come for the answer. That's why y'all come up with y'all questions, man. Because yeah. y'all know it's only one group of men that y'all can ask to where y'all even get something. Yep. You know? Read on. I got that word heirs in the Greek. It's Strong's G 2817. It's a uh, klera namas. All right? Uh, klera namas. All right? It says, one who receives, one who receives by lot, an heir. One who receives by lot. You know what I'm saying? The elect. By lot. Yep. What you was put here for. Your plan, your, the Lord's plan for you. That's your lot. Go ahead. Con. It says an heir. It says uh, in Messianic usage. Sorry, can I just. Okay. It says in Messianic usage, one who receives his allotted possession by right of sonship. Uh -huh. By right of sonship. Sons of God. Yep. Or by required Abba Father. First fruits, <laughs> Allah I am. Uh, the second definition: one who has acquired or obtained the portion allotted to him. One who has attained or acquired the what? Read it again. One who has acquired or obtained the portion allotted to him. I was saying the portion that that we, that we got is 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 is, 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 is this truth, man. Yep. Going out on the highways and the byways. This is our portion, man. Yep. Our portion is defending this gospel. Yep. 
against the wackiest of the tacky. <laughs> the wackiest of the tacky. Waggy tacky. <laughs> oh, the waggy tacky. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. All these niggas waggy tacky. What? Oh, man. I'm, I'm sorry, telling man. you. I'm done, man. Hey, I'm done. hey, man. <laughs> Gotta get on these Christians sometimes. I'm telling you. You know, it's fun, man. You know, when you get, when you really, you gotta enjoy this truth, man. It's serious, you know. But hey, as the apostles, as the apostles say, man, you gotta have fun with it sometimes too, man. Yeah, that's right. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, I mean, you gotta have fun with it too because you know this this truth is serious. But you know, it, it's funny sometimes because like these guys really truly believe that they're coming with hard questions and mm-hmm. all this kind of madness. You know what I'm saying? When it's it's like, bro, no. You look horrible. You look through. Yeah. And I thought that you knew. <laughs> All right. Uh, did you want to stop on verse seventeen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go and cut it off. We now heard now. So kind, kind. Well, hey, we just thought that Romans uh, eight. Uh, we did eleven through seventeen. So uh, Lord, one will pick back up on uh, on verse eighteen. All right, and then we'll go down further. You know, Lord, one and uh, you brothers is edified. Uh, Want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. All right, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and much peace, love, and salutation to the elect. Shalom. Shalom.